This is Gigabyte Z790 Aero G and it's a creator motherboard. That makes me excited. So let's check it out. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. So we can probably expect some beautiful design over here. And I've been always liking the Aero G motherboards. For some reason, I don't see an Aero G D out there yet on you know Z790 uh, from Gigabyte. So this is like the lower tier creator motherboard. There would be the Aero D that would be the higher one. We did have the Z690 uh, Aero D, but not right now on the Z790. Maybe a bit later. So here's the motherboard. Looks like someone might have had this motherboard before me. Inside the box, we have a Wi-Fi antenna. That looks like PS5. We've got a microphone sensor, two SATA cables, and a display port cable, and some manuals. First of all, behind the motherboard, there's no cover, just bare bones, black motherboard. In terms of the design, I'm absolutely loving this minimalistic, a bit more creative design where we have shapes and um, sizes that we're playing with rather than some kind of gaming dragon or eagle or whatever this this looks beautiful to me and i'm liking that i'm kind of half disappointed that this is not white but a bit more silver we could have had a bit more white in here perhaps some kind of cover on this side as well to make it white obviously we have the most of the white underneath here but this will be underneath gpu anyway so why not like put some of the white around it perhaps more this is the lga 1700 socket and you can put your 12th and 13th gen cpu in there if you've got a 13th gen cpu or 12th in fact as well you don't need a bios upgrade whereas if you go with the z690 motherboards you might need a bios update before you can uh, use the 13th gen cpus in there and these slots are ddr5 and and depending on your BIOS version and update, it can support up to 192 gigabytes now because we do have 48 gigabytes DDR5 sticks. But bear in mind, you might not be able to run the XMP with them because that depends on your CPU's IMC. Let's take a look at the motherboard connectors here now. On this side, we've got the power connectors for the CPU, 4 plus 8. We have CPU fan headers over here. One of them optional, the black one and gray one, just straight on way. So if you just have one fan for your CPU, just plug it into the gray one. The optional one will just share the fan controls with this one. So let's say if you got two old tower, you can just plug them both in there and then you don't need a splitter or anything like that. But that's that. Then we've got an RGB header in here. That is the 12 volt header and then a five volt header in there. There's a 24 pin ATX power supply header system fan or pump fan in here another system fan or pump hand fan this is a temperature header in there then we've got a front panel usb 3.2 header unfortunately that is only 5 gigabits in speed not 10 gigabits in speed but the usb c header for the front panel is 3.2 gen 2 x2 slot which means 20 gigabits in speed front panel usb c very nice We've got some boot LEDs there. Very nice and very helpful to see like where's the problem once the boot process goes on, whether it's CPU, RAM, VGA or uh, boot. Here we have a Thunderbolt headers for the Thunderbolt add-in card. If you want to add a Thunderbolt to this board, we can do that through there. So this little black header here, if you pull that out, there's two prongs down there. This is the noise sensor and that's what the microphone sensor inside the box is for. So you can connect it to that one and then get your whole PC to configure the fan speeds to noise if you wanna say, okay, let my PC be under 40 decibels or something like that. We've got some SATA ports on the side here, only four of them. Then in here, we've got a reset switch, an actual button and reset uh, like kind of headers as well. So you can just short them and then boom, your PC resets. 
And interestingly, you do have the front panels here where you do have re-switch switch in there as well and all that. Then on top of the front panel header here, we've got the clear CMOS button. So if we do that, basically now that doesn't let any power go to the battery and we're isolating the board and resets all the uh, settings. Here is another temperature sensor header. Then we've got some system fans in here, which is are very nicely rated all the way next to each other. I like to see that. It's just nice to see. Another four in here. Then we've got a Q flash button here for your BIOS update. So if you want to update the BIOS, put a USB in the back of the port there, hit that and boom, it updates your BIOS. Two USB 2.0 headers in here. TPM header, two more RGB headers, so one 5 volt and then one 12 volt. So all together we've got two 5 volts and two 12 volts there. We've got LED demo in here, so that's for if you take this board to a venue or you know show off in a case, you can just plug in the power in there and then you can get the LED demo. We've got a COM port and front panel audio here. Next, let's take a look at some of the M.2 SSD slots. First of all, the top slot here has got a massive, massive heat sink attached to it so as you can see this heat sink has got proper uh you know thingy going on in there underneath we've got a thermal pad and the top slot is dual thermal guard so we've got one underneath and then one top as well then we've got another heat sink in here for some more ssds all righty and look at that there's another four underneath here so all together we have one two three four five m.2 ssds even though they're all pca gen 4 compatible and you can get full speed pretty much out of all of them there are some compromises here first of all this last slot in here is the only one that supports sata m.2 ssds as well the other ones don't we also have a wi-fi card and bluetooth card here that you can change which is very nice and then the cables run all the way in the back of the motherboard as you can see there now interestingly when you put anything in the top slot here which you would usually do you know you want to everyone has heard you know put your os ssd on the top slot what will actually happen is this slot starts to run in x8 speed so you don't have 16 PCIe lanes anymore in there, but just eight. So first of all, you should populate these bottom four, one, two, three, four, and then that one, the last, if you're running out, which is interesting though. But the top slot is Gen 5 NVMe. So if you do want to get Gen 5 speed, you're going to have to put it in there, but you actually lose the bandwidth of this here. So I would recommend not putting your SSD in there, but then first of all, in there, in there, in there, in there, unless you want Gen 5 speeds, then yeah, go for it over there. So basically you've got two M.2s that run to the CPU, but just if you plug anything in there, you'll lose the full bandwidth of this uh, expansion slot there. But if you just plug in here, that will be connected to your CPU, but this is not Gen 5 slot, this is Gen 4 slot. Then you've got this that goes to the chipset, that goes to the chipset, that goes to the chipset, and they are all Gen 4 speeds. So you can get full bandwidth here, but if you do want Gen 5 anyway, basically you'll lose that there. And then you've got two more expansion slots here, and both of these are X4 PCA Gen 4 slots. So four, four lanes in there as well. So now the IO of the motherboard. Here's two USB 2.0 headers. Here's four USB type A headers, but they are five gigabits in speed. That's USB 3.2. Then we've got display port in. So that's for the vision link, which will come from the graphics card here, boom, in here. And then you get video out from that port in there, this USB-C in here. Then we've got HDMI out that comes from your integrated graphics. Boom, you can get it out from there as well. Then you've got two 10 gigabit USB type A ports, the red ones here. Then we've got 20 gigabit USB type C port in there. And then one 10 gigabit USB type C port in here. This here also supports display pass through, which I mentioned before, but that's very helpful for people, for all creators who use a tablet, for example, drawing some of the things or where they need to see a video output on the tab tablet as well. Then this port is for you. And then we've got one 2.5 gigabit LAN port. Unfortunately, we don't have a 10 gigabit LAN port in here. Then we've got an optical out mic and line output in there. Also, obviously your Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.0 
antennas in here. Actually, this is Bluetooth 5.3, not 5.2. In terms of the pricing, I highly recommend checking out the latest pricing below because there's always deals on, on there. But right now I can see it for $289. Looking at that, we're getting quite a lot of specs for creators that I think are important. A lot of NVMe storage. We've got good IO. We've got video output through USB-C fast front panel connectivity and Wi-Fi 6E. Everything is, is there. The one thing that I'm missing is 10 gigabit uh, ethernet port, but that's why you have this expansion slot in there and then you can get 10 gigabit ethernet in there as well. And if you wanted Thunderbolt, you can add another one there. So having a Thunderbolt card and 10 gig NIC in there, that would make this port board perfect. And um, that's nice. What I also like about these gigabyte boards is that the Wi-Fi card is changeable. So if you wanted to, you can upgrade it there, which is nice. If you want to check it out, check it out in the description below. I'll leave it there. But if you do want to build yourself the best bank for what, create a PC, perhaps using this motherboard, and you don't know what other components to choose, then check out the build guys in the video description below. I'll explain everything down there. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the comment section below. Bye-bye.